Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Today's spotlight is on one of the most discussed recent AI releases, the world's first AI software developer, Devon.ai. I'm a Jelvix developer who would like to remain anonymous. This way, I can provide my fully honest review of what I really think about the solution. So, as we've seen, the software development world has been shaken by Devon.ai and its alleged capabilities in solving dev tasks of various complexity. This intrigue has only grown due to its limited request-only access. So, naturally, me and other Jelvix developers were all ears about it. Thus, we scouted over 70 reviews and demos on this solution's capabilities. So, in this video, I'll gladly share our core findings. Will it replace software developers? Is Devon.ai overhyped? Is it a scam or a legit solution? We have the answers. And if you'd like us to post our own video demonstration of how Devon.ai handles some of the tasks from Jelvix experts, drop a comment below and let us know what kind of project you'd be interested in us testing out. So let's get started. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe and ensure to watch the video till the end to see our take on the Devon.ai real life use cases. Now, before getting to practice, let's highlight the Devon.ai essential features. In doing so, I'll cover two critical areas, the promised results and top considerations when using this tool. Starting off, what does Devon AI actually promise to achieve? It's no surprise that some of my Jelvix teammates, including me, were quite skeptical about its claimed capabilities. According to the live demo by Cognition, the company behind Devon.ai, Devon has surpassed the SWE benchmark of its AI predecessors and has proven to be able to solve nearly 14% of development tasks. So while it's quite impressive compared to other current solutions, there's still a long way to replacing software engineers, especially the ones who are skilled in their field. Rather than risk, I see more of the opportunity here, and so do my teammates. In fact, when surveyed, most Jelvix experts express curiosity, optimism, or even excitement to delegate some of their work to AI, as it could accelerate their workflow and allow them to focus more on complex solutions. And from what it seems, Devin could be the one to fill this gap, serving as a collaborative assistant able to request additional clarification about the project details. Beyond that, Devon is able to adapt its output based on the user comments or feedback in real time as it works on the task. I'll definitely test out this feature to see how efficiently it performs. Want to hear my impressions of it? Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. All right, back to the topic. From what I've seen, Devon offers a neat and powerful interface that's well tailored to the collaborative development work, including a shell for command line tasks, a built-in browser, a code editor, and a work scope planner. This environment not only allows users to modify code, but also provides continuous feedback to ensure the project stays on track. Sounds pretty convenient, right? Well, there's another handy feature about Devon that I've noticed. When taking over the task, Devon breaks it down to the actionable step, providing transparency on what part it's currently working on. It can be particularly useful if you want to provide additional feedback. Additionally, Devon continuously reviews and debugs the code as it progresses. Needless to say, it learns from your inputs and feedback to improve its performance fixing existing problems, and potentially eliminating them in the future. Wait, there's more! Devon claimed to excel in multitasking with the ability to handle several projects simultaneously, and this might actually be a game changer. Could you imagine having the ability to handle a couple of projects a day? Well, with Devon, hopefully we'll be able to. But if it all sounds like sunshine and rainbows, let me stop here and move to some noteworthy considerations of AI-powered software development and the use of Devon.ai in particular. The first consideration, and honestly, a highly solid one raised by multiple developers who tested Devon, is speed. In many cases of real-life projects, Devon took much more time to process the task than it would to take for a developer. And since Devon is a collaborative space, this is not the case where you can leave Devon to figure out his job and just go out. Remember, Devon might ask additional questions as he goes, which would require your input. You might also get stuck at some step or just simply take the wrong direction. So it's necessary to regularly check up on his work in progress and jump in when necessary. To be honest, this doesn't sound very efficient to me at this point. Plus, if you, as a developer, have never practiced delegation or team-based projects, this form of work might be a bit challenging. Another important aspect to consider is the actual process of reviewing Devon's code. If you're like me, you might feel writing your own code is easier than reviewing it and looking for errors. However, when working with Devon or any other AI assistant, the review part is unavoidable. So where does this leave us? Well, there might be cases where Devon complicates our work process instead of simplifying it eating up the developer's time and raising the project costs spent on the code review process. And let's not forget that development is largely a creative process, and AI has no creativity of its own. Creativity, intuition, and a deep understanding of context are purely human qualities that are crucial for solving complex problems and creating unique solutions in software development. And because AI lacks the ability to generate original ideas, innovate, or think outside the box, it's impossible to have tools like Devon replace human developers. 
Adding to that, I'm also confident working with Devin will require having strong delegation and coaching skills, which not all developers possess. For example, if you pay attention to the official demonstration by the creator of Devin, Scott, you'll see that Devin is being carefully guided by him for most of the time. Likewise, you as a developer will need to understand how to have a perfectly clear vision for the project execution and be able to create a well-detailed prompt for Devin based on it. So considering this, there's a double-edged sword for both simplifying the work for developers and requiring them to upgrade their skill set. And speaking of projects, let's not forget that AI, like Devin, is not accountable for the final code quality or adherence to timelines. For that reason, I would never risk using Devin for projects with tight timeframes, which further limits its potential area of use. That's it for now. I hope this review was useful for you. If so, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. Also, explore another cutting-edge dev solution with our GitHub Copilot review video. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.